Hello everybody and welcome to the Cinepax YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can get these awesome free paper effects packs from Cinepax.com. Completely free, you can use them in any of your projects. And I'm going to show you how you can edit them around and add some cool effects to them to make them all come together. Now, of course, to follow along with the tutorial, head over to Cinepax.com, grab the free paper effects and add it to your cart, and from there with that sample pack, just type in your email, that's where you're going to get your download link, nothing else matters there, and you'll be set. Now once you have the pack downloaded, you gotta make sure that you unzip it first, double click on it, find all the assets that you want, and click on them and drag them outside the zip folder, or just extract them all, that way they're ready for editing. Then as usual, just find them in your media tab with DaVinci, grab them, drag them in, and we're ready to edit. Alright, let's take a look at these packs here. Now all of these are 4K resolution, Apple ProRes, and then the other ones are PNG images. So what we got, and we also have some uh, awesome sound effects here, I don't want to forget those as well. So we have some things from our paper FX sample, which that includes like this cool for like split screen here, a cool transition with uh, crime scene tape, a little animated and everything, as well as one with duct tape. Um, now with Apple ProRes, these are all drag and drop, so they have transparency built into them. You don't need to be doing anything else. Um, and then on top of that, we have some awesome sound effects that we can play through. So like some tape, tape ripping, and uh, caution tape moving around as well. Cool. Uh, then the second one that we have over here is the paper transitions, which that includes like a aspect ratio kind of crop overlay that we can use, along with some awesome sound effects as well. We got some paper crinkling and some paper rips and a few different things. And then to go along with those sound effects, we have the actual animations, which you can see are cool. So why don't we put these into use? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start out with this split screen effect that we have here. Um, I wanna try to put some different images in each of these here. So I'm gonna go ahead, let's grab some footage here. Um, I like, let's, let's start with this right here. Uh, we'll crop it down here and kind of measure everything into spot. To move this around, first thing that you gotta do is just click on your transform and let's kind of drag it down, move it into place. But then on top of that, I wanna crop this a little bit. Now you can use your cropping tools over here or you can also switch from your transform tool to your crop tool. And then you can just basically uh, crop it on screen here so it fits what you want. So I think I'm gonna go with that. I just wanna trim this edge just a little bit, like right there. And then let's go back to our transform tool and scale it up a little bit, move it into place, and there we go, it's all set. So I'm gonna go back to our timeline, hold down Alt, duplicate this, and let's just put another one right there. Um, I'm gonna kinda do like a little bit of a mirror, sort of a zigzag effect, and let's do the exact same thing with this clip as well. So let's scale it down. Um, I'm gonna position it into this square, right there, looks perfect, and hold down Alt, and drag it out again. And there we go, now we have an awesome split screen effect that literally took like five seconds to make. Next thing that we can do is go over to the pack again. Let's grab our crime tape wipe effect. And if we go ahead and just throw that onto here, we wanna find the spot where it completely covers. You can use your arrow keys, find exactly where it covers the whole screen, which is right around, let's see, right, right there I think. Uh, it covers most of it, so then we can have a change, and that happens to be exactly on our transition cut. So if we play that through, there we go, perfect. Easy transition, smooth. There we go, nice and easy. Awesome. All right, why don't we throw um, a sound effect here? We got like our caution tape sound effect. Let's play this through. I'm just gonna take, I'm gonna drag this whole thing in. Let's move this up a little bit and I'll drag this in and probably trim it down a little bit. So let's uh, let's raise the volume of this a little bit. I think it's a little bit quiet. And so right, uh, right there. So let's kind of have it come in. Maybe start just a, just a few seconds before and let's play it through. I like that, I like that a lot. Now let's kind of trim this short um, and maybe, and there we go, we got a nice little sound effect. Uh, maybe let's cut this down in the end. If you hold down Alt while you click on your adjustment slider here, you'll make a little keyframe and we can just manually bring this down a little bit. That way it's not so rough. So let's play that through. 
I like that, perfect. Do the exact same thing with this tape transition here. Play this through. Uh, it's a little bit slow for me. I'm gonna right click on it, go to change clip speed and uh, 150, something like that. Um, and then let's move this so it's in place. Uh, I'm gonna hit, let's see, find where it covers the whole screen and press M to make a marker. That way I know exactly where to position it and it's right there. So then we play it through. Now we have a perfect transition. Awesome, nice. Throw in the tape sound effect as well. We can do that. Let's just take this and might need to speed it up a little bit as well. Um, and that'd be like 150. We can eyeball it. We can eyeball it a little bit and play that through. And there we go. Now we got a nice little sound effect and put that together with some music videos and bunch of different things. It really comes together and looks really stylized. All right, why don't we move on to the paper transitions over here. Looking through here, we got a cool rip effect here, which I want to use this wipe right here. So as you can see, if we play this through, it kind of wipes down, covers the whole frame, and you can kind of work with it. So it works perfectly. So I'm just gonna go ahead, drag this right on top of everything, and let's kind of line it up. Now find once again, where it covers the whole screen. So right around there, this one you have to position it right in front, right in between. It doesn't cover the screen completely, so you have to do it right in between the two clips and perfectly time it. And there I've moved it around just a little bit, so now if I play this frame by frame, as you can see, um, it will show this in the bottom, then you go one more frame, and as it moves down, it shows the top. So you don't need to do any any editing or anything, you just have to time it perfectly. It might take one moment, you gotta line this one up precisely. All right, after doing that, why don't we go ahead and I kind of like the sort of vintage effect that this uh, these clips have. So let's go ahead and give this like a warmer sort of tint to the actual effect itself. So go on over to the color page and we can do whatever we want. I'm gonna raise up the temperature just a little bit and this will give it kind of like, you know, a little bit of an older sort of newspaper feel a little bit of age and kind of use a nice warm cozy tone um, which I kind of like furthermore you can go over to your LUTs over here and if you click on let's see film looks there's some that are built into DaVinci uh, you can kind of apply whatever film sort of look you want to apply to these so um, oh that one looks pretty nice I like that one a lot there's another one though that had like really warm uh, let's see this one, I really like this uh, LUT a lot. All right, so to apply it, right click on it, apply LUT to current node, and there we go, we're all set. So if we go back into our editor page right here, there we go, now we have a nice warm tinted, kind of aged newspaper flying through, which goes really well with this nice car scene. Let's go ahead and raise this up a little bit. Um, and before we do anything else, we could, if we wanted to, just throw in a paper crinkle effect, so move it over so it plays right there and it looks pretty nice and if we wanted to we could trim it just a little bit by holding down alt like I said clicking clicking and just bring it down a little bit sooner that way it doesn't cross there we go perfect all right perfect uh, now let's go ahead and drag our overlay on top of this here so as you can see it gives it a little bit of a cool border as well and we can stretch this out and play it through it looks nice but i'm gonna go ahead over to the code page give it a little bit more temperature again and probably apply the same lut so it looks just like the other one and if we play that through now it looks pretty cool bringing in our last transition over here though i also want to show you you can apply any effects that you want to these as well so let me go ahead and line this up so it has a nice transition and that works properly. So play that through. And we got this cool newspaper transition, really nice. Uh, let's add some rip sound effects to these, two of them actually, because we have two different rips here. So one is right here it starts. So let's drag that over there. And the second one starts right here. So let's go right there. So we play these through. All right, perfect, but it needs to be extended a little bit. So why don't we grab them both actually. Change clip speed and slow it down just a little bit. And playing that through again. 
that's a lot better. Now one tip for you guys is if you ever are reusing sound effects a lot, what you can do to make them all sound just a little bit different, you can always go into your inspector over here, change the pitch of each one just slightly, all right? You don't have to be an audio expert, I certainly am not, but you can just kind of modify each sound effect just a little bit, that way you can use them a little bit more often without having a very repetitive sound, all right? So something like bringing up the semitones is gonna make it sound a lot higher pitched, and vice versa. All right, now it's important to keep in mind that with any of these effects here, you can always apply your own like fusion, basic fusion effects to stylize them even more. If you're editing something like a music video where you're doing crazy like stylized effects and you have things moving everywhere, go ahead and add a lot more things to make these really cool. Now, looking at your effects library over here, if you click on like your effects tab under your toolbox, there's a lot of really cool like um, kind of presets that give you some really cool um, sort of a uh, stylized overlays free these are like built-in stylized overlays to different things um, I personally like something like the the video camera here however the problem with these here is they neglect the alpha channel of any of these effects so if I were to play this through as you can see um, you, you, as you can see it completely covers up the transparency and it just doesn't work here so unfortunately you have to bring this into fusion if you want to do any sort of effects like that so let's go ahead slide on over there and my personal favorite thing to add to these is you can always add something like a glow very basic easy to add but what I like is the damage effect personally so if I click shift spacebar at the same time and pull up our search bar type in damage and you're gonna get a few different choices here now these all do exactly what they say you have like jpeg damage which is going to give you like digital kind of compression which does not work too well in this case could work for other things film damage which could work um which actually actually for this situation that's probably my favorite here um and then you of course you have analog damage which maybe we'll try after this but if we play that through as you can see Playing that through, it adds a little bit of a line that kind of dashes around the screen. It gives it a little bit of dirt, and you can fully customize all these. I like adding just a little bit more of the focal factor, so it has a little bit more of a vignette. Um, and then finally, I like to give it a little bit more dirt density and bring up the dirt size as well. So if you play that through, it's fully animated as well, these effects. So there you go. You can see it kind of adds to the cool little film nature of it. We could even make it a little bit more warmer like that with our temperature and our tint, which give it a little bit, just, just a little bit more color and go back to our edit page, play it through. And as you can see, now it, after a very struggling time of rendering, it will play through a nice little transition. And I like it a lot. So that's a lot of plenty of different ways that you can kind of modify and uh, add effects and kind of manipulate all these different effects for whatever you need. You can layer them extensively together to get like a really busy, high paced kind of music video effect, or you can kind of slow them out like we did here to give it a little bit more of a vintage kind of cool uh, storytelling effect. So if you guys do want the full size pack from Cinepacks.com, which includes a ton more effects, sound effects, and pictures and images that you can mess with a lot more than the free version, go on over to Cinepacks.com and type in sample15. Sample15, that promo code will give you 15% off your order, and it'll be a great purchase. These things are really fun to mess with and really add a lot to your work. So anyways, guys, hope you guys have fun, happy editing, and have a great day.